So I've managed to get my hands on a total gym. Um, it works on a pulley system and also works on as the incline gets higher, the resistance becomes harder. Uh, now I've never used one before, so what I'm going to be doing today is giving it a tryout and talking through it and see what I think and reviewing the piece of equipment to see if it's worth buying. So if you've got uh, a hard floor or tile floor, it's best just to put down something to protect it, just to make sure it's an extra precaution. It does come with plastic feet, but an extra precaution so you don't scratch your floor. A setup is pretty straightforward once you know what you're doing. It takes around about five minutes or so, but just be aware this bit of kit is around uh, about 25 kilograms. So it's quite heavy to keep moving back and forth. So it might be a good idea to find somewhere where you can have it set up permanently. I haven't got that, unfortunately. I don't have enough room. Uh, but it's not that much of a bugbear uh, to move it back and forth. So it also comes with a foot place so you can do your squats. And what I'm doing here is just adjusting the height now to make it a little bit hard for you, harder for myself when I do my first exercise. So I started off with a chest press. Um, I found I got a good squeeze in the chest. Um, it felt like it worked well, good range of motion. Um, but also what I found was is I had to do a lot of reps uh, to get to almost failure. Um, this was a bit of a pain in the neck doing all these reps, but what you can do is either do single joint exercises or uh, you can do unilateral exercises, which I'll show you later on in the video. I'm just taking it a little bit higher now because I'm going to do my back um, and I found that when I was too low or a bit lower, it wasn't hard enough, so I just increased the height to make it harder. And also, what I'm mimicking here is a barbell row rather than a dumbbell row, so I got the elbows flayed out. <clears throat> because I found the dumbbell roll position was a little bit too easy. And again with the shoulder press, I uh, found this really good, worked through the full range of motion. Um, and I've got to say I failed around about 15 reps on this one, so not too bad with that. And with the bicep curl, a single joint movement, movement um, again, failed around 12 to 15. Felt I got a good uh, stretch in the bicep with this one as it went forward and I got a good squeeze at the top. Here I'm doing um, sort of a front pull down so this is working the lats. Uh, again I felt the lats working really well as I come into the bottom position I'm squeezing back and here I'm doing another single joint chest at fly uh, working the chest got a good squeeze in that as well. So on the next one I did the reverse fly for the rear delts um, you know felt that it was a really good movement. All the way through this exercise, I do feel that they're working the muscles you want to work. Um, triceps again, really good. And as you can see, it's, it's quite taxing for me. I had to lower the bench down a little bit to get that. Now what I found with the squats is I had to do loads and loads of reps um, to get to, with the squats. It just, wasn't, it just wasn't enough weight on it. So later on, I will show you, I did this, the um, unilateral exercise. So I'm just putting the attachments on now. Um, so this is for uh, putting your feet in so you can do a hamstring exercise or hamstring pulls. And again, it's quite easy. To, they're quite easy to fit, just pop the pins in. And here I'm doing the exercise for the hamstrings. And I, I, get, I found a really good squeeze, especially at that top position. You can really feel it right in the middle of the hamstring. So here I'm doing some unilateral exercises. This one's for the chest. Uh, and, I, and I found it much easier and reduced the reps. The next one I did uh, was for the shoulders. And like I said, you can really reduce the reps on this because you're only using one side. So it's a great alternative if you want to do um, a heavier movement. Uh, and that's a single uh, row here and a lateral raise. I felt it worked really, really well. On the next one, I'm just doing the a pistol squat or a single leg squat. And I was able to reduce the reps quite significantly on this one. I brought my bum down just a little bit to get a good uh, squeeze on the lower position. And it, the machine comes with a, a lot of accessories. It comes with DVDs, CD-ROM, workout programs. You've got your beginner, your intermediate and advanced program. So a lot of accessories you can attach to the uh, piece of equipment. Now, would I buy one of these? Um, well, I, I, I did enjoy it. I felt I got a good workout from it. But the, the ones I could find with a foot plate are really expensive, coming in around about a thousand pounds. That's a lot of uh, money 
just for this piece of equipment and I feel you can buy uh, a good set of dumbbells and a bench for around about the same money if not a bit less. Um, and we can get a good workout from that. I would prefer to spend my money on that. However, I did find something similar on uh, other websites uh, called the Fit Gym. And I don't know whether it's as good as the Total Gym, uh, but it seems, you know, for £199 is well worth a go. I think that's well worth it. So all in all, a good bit of kit, a bit too expensive for me, I'll probably buy the cheaper version. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.